Before you reach your 50s, the faster you can learn about personal finance and learn from the mistakes that you're bound to make, the better. To help you, I've put together what I see are the biggest financial mistakes that people continually make before we turn 50. But before I unveil these common mistakes, my attorneys say that I need to point out these important disclosures. The information in this video is for educational purposes. This is not specific financial planning, health insurance, or investment advice. In addition, everyone's tax situation is different. You should discuss your tax situation with a qualified tax advisor before implementing any planning strategy. So why do we continually do it if we intuitively know it's a mistake? Because our brains are hardwired that way. Personal finance is actually about rewiring our brains and our finances finances to often act counter to what we want to do. So let's get into what I think are the biggest mistakes before we turn 50. First, navigating your 20s. Now for younger people starting off in their careers, keeping up with the spending of their friends is often the biggest mistake people make. Spending too much and saving too little creates poor money habits and can lead to bigger mistakes down the road. It's the biggest mistake because it's the root of all the other mistakes I'm about to share. Now if possible, try to learn to live on 90% of your after-tax income right out of the gate. That can set you up for good financial habits in the future. And why after-tax? Because after-tax is what you actually receive no matter your income level. The sooner you make yourself live on 90%, the better. Now you know what's a great way to help you determine what your after-tax income is as well as analyze your spending? My clients and I often use the Rocket Money app. It really has been an incredible tool to provide vision into my finances. 80% of people save money by using Rocket Money to find and cancel unwanted subscriptions. Recently, I found I was being double billed by Netflix. That was almost 200 bucks in found money I now have to invest. Use my link down in the description to get your free subscription. It helps support the channel. All right, the second biggest mistake is not creating an emergency fund that at first would cover your deductibles if something happened to your transportation, your health, or the place that you live, and then it would cover your living expenses for up to six months. In 2023, 22% of US adults do not have any emergency savings. 72% of Gen Z and 59% of millennials have less than three months of emergency funds. So building up an emergency fund as soon as possible is extremely important. Now it's also tough because in your 20s, we feel as though that we're gonna live forever and marriage and kids, retirement, are a long way off. But the third mistake, in my opinion, is not establishing a healthy investment plan for the savings because we don't appreciate the massive power of compounding returns over time. Often young employees don't participate in their 401k from their employer and don't invest in a Roth IRA or health savings account when it's available. Additionally, a large percentage of people who do fund these accounts keep the money in cash or money markets they don't actually invest the money. Well, it's good that cash and money markets are actually earning something now, as opposed to the last 20 years, but it's still not investing. These accounts are just mechanisms. There often aren't automatic investments. Now, it may not seem like much in the short term, but it comes with a significant long-term cost. I can't tell you how many 30, 40, and 50-year-olds come to me wishing that they would have saved and invested in Roth accounts and HSAs over the past two decades. Don't let those opportunities pass you by. Speaking of HSAs, the fourth biggest mistake is missing out on the benefits of the high deductible health plan, the savings, and the access to put those savings into a triple tax-free health savings account. And when you're young and in good health, opting for the cheaper high deductible health plan and then saving the difference in a health savings account is an incredible opportunity. And if you wanna learn more about the pros and cons of those types of accounts, I have a number of videos in my library. Make sure you check them out. Now finally, another big mistake people make in their 20s and really at any time is following YOLO and get rich quick schemes. In our 20s we often have shorter attention spans and are looking for shortcuts. So hot tips from friends or co-workers often result in dubious speculative investments that are more like gambling than anything else. Being impulsive when investing can be a significant financial mistake. Successful investing involves compounding returns 
over time. And while there are many other mistakes that people make in their 20s, in my opinion, these are the biggest ones. I'd love to hear about any mistakes that you made down in the comments. We all can learn from each other. Now, let's navigate your 30s. In your 30s, the biggest mistake made is often a lack of protection. You want to protect what you have now and in the future. Your biggest asset at this point is typically your income stream. Your ability to earn a living for the next 30 to 40 years is really valuable, but many people in their 30s neglect their insurance needs or they misunderstand which coverages matter most. I've seen many people who have season tickets to Baltimore Ravens football games, but don't have life, disability, or umbrella insurance. That seems crazy to me, but I'm a planner. If you have a life partner or kids, get the proper insurance to cover your future income stream, your ability to earn, and the possibility that someone out there may just sue you. It's easy to get caught up in your career and just day-to-day -day life and push off the coverage. But the coverage given by your employer is often very short term and doesn't help you if you are significantly disabled or die unexpectedly. Leaving your young family in financial peril is a huge financial mistake. Don't rely on a GoFundMe page for your family's security. All right, the second biggest mistake is not saving and investing a significant part of the raises that you receive in your income. Now, people often talk about lifestyle creep and it's okay to a degree. I'm sure that you work hard and that's why you watch this channel. Spending some of that income is fine. As you get rewarded for that work with a growing income, you can spend more on the things that you love to do, but make sure you keep your expenses down on the things that don't really matter. That will allow you more money to save and invest in your future. In your 30s, try to raise your savings rate by at least 1% a year. If you started at 10% of your after-tax income in your 20s, by the time you reach 40, you could be saving and investing 20% of your after-tax income. That would be outstanding and a great setup for your financial future. All right, now, how to captain your 40s. Well, typically, families spend more in their 40s than at any other time in their lives. Trust me, I'm 45 as I film this, and I feel like I have spending pressures everywhere. Mid-career professionals often face a mortgage, pressure to spend like your friends, midlife crises, mounting tuition bills for their children, as well as additional costs to help aging parents. But if at this point in your life, you consistently pay yourself first through your automatic saving and investment plan, you can spend what is left over however you like. There's no need to micromanage your finances if you're consistently saving and investing 18 to 20% of your after-tax income. You're most likely in very good shape. Who cares how much you're spending on coffee and the spot Spotify subscriptions if you're saving and investing 18 to 20 percent and if you're not it's time to take a hard look at your spending. In your 40s, it can be really easy to just bury your head in the sand and plow ahead without reviewing things. One of the biggest mistakes in your 40s is not performing a full financial review to take a look and see where you currently stand. You can overlook seemingly insignificant things like updating beneficiaries on your 401k plan or completing a will, powers of attorney, and custody desires. But those are extremely important items to cross off your list, especially if in your 40s you got divorced, remarried, or now have a blended family. It's also really easy to get complacent about your investments, especially if you're the conservative type who favors a set it and forget it strategy. This is a good point to do a significant financial health checkup. Make sure that your investment strategy is optimized to your tolerance for volatility, not someone else's, and that you're using low or no fee investment vehicles, and you're taking advantage of all of the tax optimization that is available to you. It's not about how much you make, it's about what you keep. I'm sure you've heard this, but in your 40s, it rings loud and clear. And if you're wondering what other financial mistakes that people make, check out this video next. You don't wanna be making these mistakes when pursuing advanced strategies.